And welcome to day 8 of the Atlantic Hurricane season, day 25 in the Eastern Pacific and we have uh, a few systems at the moment, of course, Tropical Storm Andrea making landfall in Florida initially, now moving up the east coast of the United States and about to um, reach the coast of Virginia as an extra tropical storm, it's turned post tropical earlier this afternoon. We also have 2Invest 92L in the Atlantic which uh, currently has a near zero chance of development and 98W in the Pacific which has a very high chance of development. Indeed, it's already been tagged as a tropical depression in the Philippines by Pegasa, uh, who have called it Dante. That's the uh, first storm um, in a quite a while in the Western Pacific. But as it stands, um, not officially a tropical storm, just a depression with 25 mph hour winds. Uh, and of course, here's the Atlantic with extra tropical storm Andrea, post tropical storm Andrea. They can be used interchangeably, really. Um, and there it is. Uh, this picture is a little bit old. Um, you can see it moving across the northeastern part of the United States there, and it's probably just over Virginia at the moment, very close to the coast, moving very quickly off to the northeast. And uh, as far as the Indian Ocean is concerned, not much going on here. You can see a few areas of perhaps a little bit of interest, but certainly no areas of development as of yet. Uh, no invest there. Looking at the sea surface temperatures, here's the um, not, not much change actually, apart from the uh, Gulf waters near Florida, which have cooled down with the passage of Andrea, and uh, perhaps a little bit near the Gulf Stream as well, off the coast of the Carolinas, where waters may have cooled a little bit below 26 degrees there as well. Uh, as far as North Indian Ocean is concerned, warm waters still remain here, 30 degrees or more near the coasts, and um, in the South China Sea and the Philippine Sea, very warm waters continuing here which is obviously very good for Invest 90W. Um, so here's a tropical, extra tropical storm Andrea, extra storm, post tropical storm, winds of 45 miles per hour, 996 millibars, and you can see the forecast for the next 48 hours as the storm is expected to move out to the northeast, perhaps emerge over water for a little while before making landfall, perhaps on Long Island and then into uh, maybe Rhode Island or Massachusetts before moving on to Nova Scotia and then perhaps Newfoundland as well. Uh, tropical storm warnings still remain in effect from Surf City, North Carolina to Cape Charles Light, Virginia, Pamlico and Albemarle Sounds and Lower Chesapeake Bay south of New Point Comfort as well. And of course you can see all the flood warnings there as well. Um, flood watches with flood warnings highlighted in green in the United States at least and even a tornado warning as well still in effect for parts of Northern North Carolina and Southern Virginia. Um, and rainfall warnings also in effect for in Kelsey, New Brunswick, Nova Scotia and eastern Prince Edward Island in Canada. And now here's the satellite imagery of what Andrea has been up to in the past 18 hours or so. On the satellite imagery here you can see it progressing northeastward at a fair rate of knots, currently moving at 35 miles per hour off to the northeast at the moment. It's been doing somewhat of a similar speed and it's only expected to um, accelerate even further as it moves off to the northeast over the next two days or so. And we have Invest 98 here as well in the Western Pacific. You can see here a little bit of an explosion of, um, of, of cloud cover recently. You can see there, especially on the visible, it's quite apparent that the storm is certainly getting its act together and will very soon be a tropical depression or even a tropical storm um, in the Western Pacific there. And here's the model runs for the Atlantic then, the CMC forecast here. You can see Andrea at the very start of the uh, run, there it is, moving off to the, to the northeast and then out into the Atlantic, possibly um, coming close to Ireland and then moving back out to sea again, or at least some of it. Uh, the ECMWF forecast has something fairly similar, I didn't see it there, it was just uh, very quickly at the start, there it goes, um, and then straight off to the east as it reaches Newfoundland and then uh, possibly affecting the British Isles, if not then um, moving back out to the North Atlantic and hanging around there, you can see it there on the GFS. Um, and apart from that, it doesn't seem like there are any other storms forming, apart from maybe a little um, weak storm in the Eastern Pacific towards the end of that run there, that's around uh, five or six days out. Um, and you can see the Navjet model there, predicting something fairly similar, and of course with Andrea moving out to sea. Um, fairly confident with the model runs on where Andrea is going. Um, there isn't much uh, de debate onto that one. A GFDL model there, something happened there, a bit of an error. Um, nothing to do with me. And there's Andrea moving off, straddling the coastline all the way up to Nova Scotia. And we found that more warnings are already in effect in its anticipation. Of course, there are many flood warnings in effect, flood watches as well. So um, flooding is certainly a concern with this storm. So let's look at the overall predictor season scores then for June the 8th, 2013. Uh, we had a new entrant yesterday, five exclamation marks, would you believe it? But uh, has changed their name because you can only predict once in a month. So uh, that 
overwrote the L prediction. Uh, sorry if that was a bit of a problem, but you've gained two points in the process, so you must be happy with that. Um, so you can submit your own storm totals at the 413 website forward slash interactive.html. That'll take you straight to the storm tracking page uh, where you can submit your storm totals for the year. Make sure they're sensible, um, otherwise you probably won't get many points by the end of the year. Still plenty of time on that one. On this day then for June the 8th, quite a few things, not that many actually compared to previous days. 1966 though, Hurricane Alma making landfall in Cuba as a 100 mile per hour Category 2 hurricane causing 12 fatalities and $200 million in damages. In 1976, Hurricane Annette rapidly intensified to become a Category 4 storm in the Eastern Pacific. In 1990, Hurricane Boris dissipated in the Eastern Pacific and Tropical Storm Christina formed in the same region on that very same day in, on June the 8th. And also, 1995, Tropical Storm Dina dissipating in the Western Pacific, I think that's the pronunciation. In 2000, Tropical Depression 1 dissipating in the Atlantic. 2002, Tropical Storm Boris forming in the Eastern Pacific. And Typhoon Maguri peaked as a Category 2 storm in the Western Pacific on that day as well. And in 2005, the first storm of that record-breaking season, even today, formed in the Caribbean, Tropical Storm Arlene. Don't forget, you can track any storm that forms on the website, forcetine.com forward slash stormtracking.html, including... Uh, the remnants of Andrea and of course the uh, new storm that's likely to form in the Western Pacific. There'll be more info on that to in tomorrow's bulletin and if necessary a uh, storm update during the day tomorrow as well. Um, and of course you can follow us on the social pages of course YouTube, Facebook and Twitter. Just uh, search for it, you should find it fairly easily. And don't forget to show your support by doing the usual, uh, liking, subscribing, favouriting, doing whatever. Uh, just as long as it's good and um, I appreciate everything that um, you can do to support Force 13. Thank you very much. As for the next update, that will be following in around 24 hours time at around uh, midnight UTC on Sunday, uh, the 9th of June 2013.